Hello again. In the previous video, we went through the calculation of a free vibration of a cantilever beam, which was under a concentrated mass at its tip. And now I'm going to model the same uh, beam with ANSYS to see how the natural frequency should be calculated. And also then we move towards the transient calculation to see after applying the modal analyzers how the beam starts to vibrate. First, we need to have modal engineering data can be kept as it is. For the geometry, we can use the beam model instead of modeling the shell or solid element. Simply, you can sketch a line from here and the length was 2000 millimeter. And the sketch, then from the prepare, here you can select, for example, I beam. And then you can edit beam profile with the given dimensions. The width of HEA 200 is 200 millimeter and the height is 190. The thickness of the flange is 10 millimeters, so it's the same 6.5 millimeter is the thickness of the web. We can come back and select the element, apply the beam section. If we want to see, you can come here and we can see that the orientation is in a way that the y direction is parallel to the weak axis of the profile. We can select the beam and change the orientation as y direction is typically the vertical direction in ANSYS. However, you are free to select whichever you want. We are done here. After that, we can go to the model. Then we can use a mesh, for example, 50 millimeter would be enough. Generate the mesh. Here we can see the profile. Then we can select one end node, go to modal, fix support. At the other end, we need to put a mass, which is one tons here. We can just insert point mass with one ton, 1000 kilogram. And here, nothing else is needed. Here we have the frequencies given in the format of six modes. If we come back to the analyzer setting, we can see that the maximum modes to find is six. It starts with the minimum frequency, which comes with the weakest axis. We have three translational uh, degree of freedom, and also we have six uh, degrees of freedom rota in rotational. Here, if we come to the solution, and select these frequencies, create mode shape results and checking the modes. Here we can see that the first mode is about weak axis. And if we go to the second mode, we can see this is what we calculated earlier in our calculation. Frequency is 7.85 Hertz of which we calculated and it was 8.3. Here we can see that the frequency was 8.3 Hertz. Uh, the main reason for the difference between these two is that uh, the calculation is based on the weight of this beam. And as far as the beam weight is considered as a distributed load, the mass is greater. As a result, the frequency is a smaller. But the accuracy shows that okay, we, we calculated as we expected. Number three, we can check number three. This is rotational. 
number four a steel rotational number five rotational and number six is as you can see it is the strongest uh, or the most stiff degree of freedom then we can come back to the main workbench we can bring transient structural to the solution coming back to the APDL update the solution and let's go with five seconds five steps we can select all the steps here change to sub steps and for each one let's go with 50 the damping controls here you can numerical damping is by default on program control we can change it to manual and if you don't want to consider damping ratio you can set it to be zero and we need to apply a load for example acceleration in vertical direction 9806 it should be noted that when you want to apply the load in the minus y direction the value of acceleration in y direction should be positive uh, we are interested in the total deformation or if you are interested in the directional deformation you can set the directional deformation it might not be very different from each other as far as the load is applied vertically here you can set in y direction i'm interested the solution to be checked here we can see the deformation which the maximum value let's turn off these two the minimum value we can see that between 0 0.4 to 7.7 .7, and the amplitude value is something around 7 millimeter we calculated 7 millimeter the main reason of being a little bit different from our calculation is the weight of the beam and here is the deformation as we had in our calculation the positive deformation is not possible and we can see that the effect of damping is completely neglected here you can increase the sub steps here to have a better or fine resolution of the solution that's it end of this video i hope you noticed how to find the natural frequency of a system thank you for watching see you next time bye